Yes, I was going to say, Sinai White are really playing this quite cautiously. They will be flashed back and away. Alexis will have to fall off of that position. Katsumi surely will get overwhelmed, but able to take one down just before that happens. So that's a good result there for C9 White. Alexis fighting over this be heaven control, but forced back to the stairs once again. And this is getting quite chaotic, but it does look like COG Red will have a spike plant coming through here. However, they are down a player. Three versus four for them, trying to hold this site. It's only going to be quite difficult, but a lot of utility has already been expended by both teams, so this might come down to C9 White picking a good timing, coordinating themselves well. There's the Satchel through for Jazzy to get closer here to try to combine this effort with her teammates as they push forwards. Rise able to defend very nicely this crossfire between the back of the site and B main is looking quite good at the moment. Those nano swarms, I don't th I think they must have been destroyed here. Na Naomi's gonna have to try to close the distance, but she can't get there in time. Mel defends and specs them to hit the A site late, but maybe that Viper Poison Cloud is saved for B Heaven and they get a nice B split going. And it's interesting as well because, you know, why they, it does look like they want to go aggressive with this B main push. Jazzy actually picks up the kill with the spec that that's huge, but they won't expect Rise. Almost going for the trigger discipline, but will take what is given and Jazzy will get traded out. So opportunities here. COG reacting, pushing mid at the same time. They know there's an opening because of the action around B main and those positions. Rise, and it kind of shifted the whole team into just doing a B hit now. So they're just going to do a B hit and hopefully Rise can get into the site for COG Red. Pop that ult and kind of alleviate some of the pressure of the hit. Yeah, that ultimate is a good focus point, but can they get across? It looks like Katsumi is going to drop Benita straight away. The Viper's Pit goes down, but just as quickly is taken out. Even just Naomi left alive, stuck behind the dark cover in B main. And there's not a lot to be done, it would appear. Let me be able to get one kill, but with that said, at least there's an extra two kills collected. and. There might be an opportunity for a spike plant here as well, for some extra money for the team. Trying to bait out a peek though. Naomi's looking to try to close this one down against three players. The ace clutch is not going to happen this time around, but it was a good effort. Alarm bot up there, so C9 White has that covered. The Sky is capable of playing events, and this is going to be a mid collapse coming from C9 White. I am a bit scared for CLG Red. C9 White are playing this so damn smart. Nice opening though coming through from Claudia, getting the entry frag there. Naomi following up onto Alexis, and Annie Dro now has to come up huge to try to get something done with this Phantom. Has some support from Katsumi as well, so doubling down on the B-Heaven defense here. C9 White, but not looking good. Chobo winning the battle. Definitely a good feeling right now here for CLG Red is Annie Dro. Surely will get this kill. Chobo so weak. Even gets the headshot. It looks like COG Red will finish things off on the A site. And I don't know what opportunities we'll see here for C9 White to get back in against four players. But there is some position between screens and A Heaven. There goes Annie Dro. Finds an isolated fight. That's a good start here for C9 White. Looking for this retake. The flash comes through. Benita with the transfer tries to find the finish onto Mel, but it will be Rise to do it. And COG pick up the round and. Sean, I fought Nine White, who have, as you said, so many ults to work off, uh, work off of. Most key, a showstopper and Mel's lockdown as well. Do they push with the breach ult, Dan? I think they do. I think they push into this killjoy ult. There it is. There goes the breach ult straight into screens. Trying to make it work here, but C9 White are defending this push quite nicely. It's just Naomi who remains. And, oh man, the lineups are good and everything, but there's four players left. That push failed. Naomi has so much to do. The oh, wow, okay. <laughs> it's actually going to get one with that Nanus one, but it'll be a consolation frag. Oh, wow. such a good idea. It was a great... And the flash comes through, but Jazzykins is ready, and the Seeker's coming out, but it doesn't seem to help too much. Alexis isolated as well, and it's an opportunity. It's looking quite grim, I have to say, for CLG Red, but now there's only one player on the B site. It's Mel, but Mel, of course, has a good angle. Good position, playing off the turret, but the timing is not great for Mel. She had to pop the Nano Swarms, turned away, Chobo takes full advantage. And now it's Katsumi and Annie Drone. I feel like COG Red keep coming up huge in the most unexpected rounds. Looking to work on a flawless here. In great post-plant positions. Katsumi knows where one player is. Annie will be coming in from spawn, but now it is just Annie in spawn. Through process of elimination, I'm sure that CLG Red have a good understanding. Annie Dro is lurking around here. A flawless round will be pretty huge. 
the COG Red, considering how far behind they've been. And oh, Benito's looking for it. There goes the fault line. And oh, and he got one just before going down. But still, great round from COG fault lines. Waiting for the peak. I don't know that they're going to expect this angle. Jazzy should have an opportunity. There it is. Claudia goes down. That's a huge pick to get in a situation like this. Jazzy still staying alive in the corner here, though. Trying to keep that pressure on the damage. Could continue here as the pain shells go out. And there's the aftershock being sent through. A nice fade away from Jazzy. Stays. Oh, if you look, Chobo has lurked her way into ropes. It looks like Jazzy's aware of it, but she has to watch two different angles at once here. Yeah, Jazzy, another shot. The trade comes through at the least, but it's going to be very difficult with 30 seconds to go now. The spike is very close to being planted, able to make the cross versus Annie safely, somewhat safely at least. But still, stuck on the side. Two versus three for CLG. Red here, Chobo knows she's got to get aggressive, has to peel off some of these players before they are able to come closer. The paranoia is so dangerous. Chobo goes down, leaving it all to Naomi, playing the elbow position, and it's just not going to work out from a timing and we'll see, oh, a very fast push coming through, but the defense is looking quite strong. C9 White really having a sense of it, or at least they were very ready for that. And it was definitely a change of pace from CLG Red, so props to C9 White for defending that so well. Oh, looking like quite the cleanup here. C9 White don't seem to really have any weaknesses right now, and... I mean, what do Naomi and Benita try to accomplish in this position? Oh, just a nice little turret left there by Mel. Spots out Benita at a ramp. But C9 White isn't really doing much about that information, right? They still have this 5 on 2 advantage. They don't need to over rotate, leave something open for Naomi to lurk. Spike down oh, mid. man, they just have everything prepared right now. This operator is a really big problem, I have to say. What do you think that they should you in terms of an adjustment here Sean possibly lose or even just try to blow this one up if they can find a timing but Jazzy's actually sat there there goes that shows them all no it's three players in well what Jazzy's one of those three so we make it two against COG Red but the rest of COG Red are getting decimated by the defense it's just too disruptive this ultimate advantage and once again Naomi's left in a rather difficult position alone and man just again those ultimates really coming through and it's it's very uh, it's very unfortunate, Sean, for them to not even get any value out of that take. LG Red, they went to their only thing that's worked for them all half, and Jazzy can just shut it down. Mid towards rotate speed? Down. Oh yeah, no. this is so smart. Oh my god, this that was just genius. Oh my goodness. C9 White are just on another level right now. CLG though, they can still make this work. Benita at the back of the site. With the classic in hand, trying to find the shots, and those are oh. some shots to find from Benita. Oh. My God, Benita, crushing the push onto the A site. I don't know how the classic can. Crazy. They had such good solutions to deal with that Viper one way at the bottom of Mail. They timed the boom bot on the peak perfectly, and now they immediately have a Trailblazer going up to clear B Heaven, and that cleared all the way down the stairs. They've walked up. Oh, and speaking of walking up, Annie Dro with the kill onto Chobo, and there it is. They have players placed everywhere. They're able to switch it up into the best option, which is now this A attack. But Naomi can you see a performance like Benita, just not against the fans. It's Annie Dro! Oh my goodness. Got a... I think the trigger's getting stuck there, Sean. I think she must have been playing a lot of uh, altered KOs in ranked or something. Yeah, you, know, you have to you have to kill the downed body. <laughs> You have to thirst for it. <laughs> <laughs> but this was uh, it, perhaps a lurk with Viper has been very annoying. But in the meantime, the push comes through to the B side. The paranoia will affect Rise. And he's going to be heard on the flank. Chobo able to turn around and deal with that effectively. So now C9 Wire in trouble. 20 seconds to plant this spike. And there is a lot of pressure coming in from COG Red. And with that frag, Alexis is the last player standing. So nice headshot, but the trade comes through. And CLG Red. Those are some cool things to look out for here. Yeah, and we, we have Mel on the lurk at the moment. And everybody else towards Ooh, a ramp for early control. But the mid push indeed. And there goes the Seekers as well. <gasps> oh, the timing. Them. That's a free one for Mel. That's Oh, that's also the breach. Benita goes down. That's a huge kill to get on the defenders. And oh, man. 
This is looking very bad for COG Red. The Viper's Pit will all get pulled out just to make sure. And I don't, I don't know if COG Red even want to go for this one at this point, Sean. Oh, oh that was the frag they needed right there. Hydro <laughs> getting rebuffed again. Back to 100. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this has to be... This has to just be like an exit frag. Hunt. Looks like they want to make this as painful as possible. Actually, it's trying to lurk around, seeing if they can get something crazy done here. Might as well take down Annie Dro. Now the last player standing and as well. So the showstopper is good there for the post plant. Oh. And there it goes. She oh, she's going for it. Everybody's running Ooh. away, trying to avoid it. It's sent down to spawn and it will catch absolutely nothing. Oh, here comes the reverse. Chobo picks up that showstopper, takes down Alexis, and Benita goes down here as C9 fight for the spawn control. That's a beautiful decision to go for. Katsumi with the wraparound, the pillar, and she can't quite make it work. The trades come through. For and oh, okay. Annie, Annie Drew is very confident. This lurk on A ramp, she throws the poison cloud over the wall, lurks along the backside of it, gets to heaven. Oh, <laughs> finds Benita through the corner of the heaven box. That opens up the lurk for Mel. Both sites are being lost simultaneously. It's a difficult situation. Oh, Mel goes down, but at the cost of Claudia's life. And they don't have the player numbers to be doing that. That's unfortunate for COG Red, but C9 White looking like they're coming into their own at this round. Two versus three after that pick against Annie. Maybe there's a chance of a Turbo not expecting Jazzy to be so close. And Naomi now knows the position of Jazzy, but it's about winning the battle and Jazzy all day. Annie Dro's dodging it, is crouching behind, knows what's up here. The take comes through where they expect Annie Dro. They're actually pre-firing it, but Annie Dro will at least take down one. However, Claudia is still alive. Naomi with that lockdown still alive. This forces a reaction from C9. They know that a heavy investment towards A means a weak B site. And Mel is creeping around the pillar as well. Looking to see if she can find some space. The 1v1s though, being won by CLG Red. They have a great scenario here for themselves. The three versus two at this point. Jazzy's low. Here comes a lurk from Rice around the pillar. And that blaze on to finish. And now Jazzy's got control of Elbow. The spike's being planted. We might have to see a big dump here of CLG Red's ultimates they, they i'm sure they didn't want to do it but here it is we'll see that lockdown coming through in fact from in fact it's coming from mel and there's the response the defender the killed Jay break it. oh no that's a great fault line though wait alexis lurking up through no. a heaven here as well she could find a really insane timing as the push comes through screens Oh, the time is really a big problem here. There goes the breach flashes to try to get a push through. Benita wins that 1v1. Jazzy is going to get backstabbed there by the remainder of CLG. Came in, Dan. I know you were so <laughs> happy about it. I was I was feeling the pain of losing a game, I guess, an eco rush, right? Oh, man. I can't believe it. Even after Benita... Waiting for sound cues to maybe feel like an open B site. She's looking for it to be clear to walk through. I think she's waiting for presence from any droid. A heaven. A one for one there from Chobo, that's not the worst, but there it is. Claudia was so patient, picks up the lurk from Mel through B main. They just know C9 White too well. Oh, but the satchel play from Jazzy. What an entry. That's going to keep uh, C9 White in this round. There's the Viper's Pit, and that is a huge advantage now to defend this site. This will be very difficult for CLG Red to get back in. How on earth do they manage to get past this Viper's Pit, Dan? Oh, double snake bite available, boom bot available as well on the post plant. Here comes a clear from COG Red using that aftershock, trying to get their way through. Jazzy though, it's looking so good right now for C9 White to close out the first map. It's just Benita left and she working their way across and now you know falls to Naomi who's in this hell position. There goes the flash, the drop down and ooh, can't quite find the damage Naomi that she's looking for. And Annie Drew with that classic will defend as well against the tree position. So looking like a great recovery here. This movement from C9 White. Claudia, we've, we've said her name so much. And we'll have to be saying it again here if they are to have any success in this retake, CLG. Here. This is a, such a hard crossfire to break. Last Try, trying to find a way to do it, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, totally agree. The firewall was such a nice touch, and Chobo able to get an early kill. Actually, this is quite cool to see. You know, the, we didn't mention that. You know, the force by coming through here. 
Really interesting move on the defense as well, Sean, to actually go for the force buy. Flash yeah. through from Alexis. It, it almost smells of desperation, but this is a very good early round opening from CLG. Right? Oh! Yes, that's stunning as well from Naomi. They are denying C9 White the entry through the choke point, actually. C9 White already tried to move through that choke point twice now. The first time they got pushed back by Util, the second time, I mean, it's just a straight headshot coming through with a sheriff from Naomi. So, this is not plan A or B right now for C9 White. They are on plan C at this point. This round with the spike loss, as you can see. This is a tough one. Gonna make their way through, though. Give it an attempt to try to get that recovery going. But this is looking fantastic. My god, have you ever seen a second round defender force by on Ascent look this good, Sean? It, this is looking really, <laughs> really good. Uh, scenario, the cat hit comes in. Oh my goodness, Ooh. they're so aggro at me. Oh, Katsumi, please. That Sheriff looking very dangerous. Bulldog coming through there from Benita once again. Again, seeing that it is somewhat of a favorite pick for her. And Annie picks up a kill as well. This is a very messy round here now for CLG Red. You really need this to be clean. Oh, dear. Oh, no, it's going very wrong. And that's Alexis hanging onto those ice orbs for so long. Only one player onto the side. Claudia <gasps> needs to try to find a way to connect these blades. But unfortunately, the flash comes through. Claudia still looking to find the connections. Just peppering from behind, not finding the damage needed. And now it's just rise against four players. C9. But yeah, it's the second time. Paranoid comes through. Here comes the take on a main from CLG. They know one's in the corner. They'll take both players down. Brilliant stuff there. But still, Alexis is still there. I don't know if they're aware of Alexis's presence. Alexis will try and use those sound cues to her advantage. Very good time. Might be able to catch one off oh. guard, but Joe and B main, especially on the defense. You need to know how to retake for as little utility as possible, but oh. we'll see what C9 can do here because Jazzy's lurked up into a pretty deep position. Chobo, though, not missing a beat this round. Yeah, Chobo had a fantastic round here. So much awareness. They push. Oh, oh, the punish is huge. Just as you said, waiting for that sound cue. Paranoia comes through. The Paranoia was previously, of course, on the A-Main side of the map so early advantage is being taken around the extremities this might this might actually force C9 to go a bit faster in some of these following rounds and Claudia she's going to be finding Jazzy just walking up great dodge coming through there from Katsumi but still two versus five for C9 Claudia doing jet things <laughs> that's, that's that's how you play jet very well done yeah it's going to be a beast bit off the back of that Benita's in a good position, is backside with Chobo, and they're in a good spot. The paranoia comes through as well. The peak from Ryze is beautiful. Three kills, almost a quad. It's down to Claudia. She'll light up Mel, and there's not much left for Annie Drow to, be, to actually do here. One versus four with no time. Oh, that's a little bit scary. The gun barrel is showing, but still, it's looking very difficult for Annie Drow. Jumping classic. <laughs> Coming in from Cloud9 so far, it's going to have to be used on the retake instead as opposed to preventing the plant from happening. How all goes up to slow it down. They're going to have to push into it. They're breaking the door. They're ready to push into it. Dan. There they go. Here's the de defense. Oh, there's so much happening here around the tree position. Naomi with the initial defense, but Cloud9 oh. looking fantastic. Mel able to deal the lockdown just in time, but the trade comes through. Chobo forced to already use that res earlier in the round. Is going to be up against Alexis in the 1v1. No idea where Alexis is. The timing is everything here. Alexis gets off the site. Chobo with the drop down onto site. Alexis now knows. Chobo still thinks that Alexis was on the site. This is so dangerous right now for Chobo. Has to start running. Time is a huge problem here. Alexis could be absolutely anywhere. And there goes the run it back. Chobo has to come off. Has to get the frag. Has to stick the defuse. But Alexis nails the headshot. Bank there. Oh my god. The timing. Pulling out the stars. Going into astral form. That's very unfortunate. No again, Dan. They have no door smoke. They've got no heaven smoke. No gravity wells. They are in a lot of trouble for sure. Claudia, see, there's just nothing that they can do to deny Claudia on that position. Oh, Claudia connecting. Nice flick from Benita as well. Oh, that timing is filthy. That's really, really looking very good for Alexis. Casting will finish off Naomi, so very damaging. 
here for COG Red. They're not really winning the position out of this either. So this is a great look right now for C9. You can see Mel's just waiting for the timing. She doesn't have to overextend on this one. And it looks like COG are committing all the way in. Chobo eventually will find that frag onto Jazzy, but it's looking still very difficult, very labored. The spike, though, looks like they're going to find a plant. There is still hope alive in the round here for COG Red, but players are coming in pretty rapidly. Oh, Benito with that classic once again finds the back of Alexis, but the numbers game is too great for Cloud9. That's exactly where Alexis is. Oh my god, I can't believe Katsumi's in there, but Chobo with the trade. Huge trade. And of course, they're just running those Spectres. It's the bonus round here. The Ares goes down as well. So you can see the superiority in, in the arsenal and the weaponry here for CLG. Really working out nicely. Just as you said, CLG are looking for the fights. They get them and they are geared up to win them. Now in B main though. I feel like this is quite scary, but it's just a Spectre. Plenty of time to deal with that. And a near flawless, not quite, but close enough position is a setup. A three player setup here around the cap position. C9 looking to get aggressive straight away. This is bold stuff into the smoke again. And oh, up on the wall. Alexis saved by the wall maybe, but no. Claudia with the punish. But the frag coming from Mel definitely makes life much more complicated here. Only just Ryzen Benita left alive. A main and in mid at the moment here for COG Red. But now it's just Ryze. And they have no idea where Ryze could be really at this point. But it looks like the angle might be covered by Jazzy here. Yes, Jazzy has the angle with a few shots that gives opportunity to Rise. In fact, Rise escaped without even taking any damage. This is a Vandal situation okay. if I've ever seen it. And the smoke comes through as well. There goes the recon has to turn to destroy that one. Now it's just focusing on this. The double P comes through with opportunity there. Oh, she might have, have overstayed her welcome here. The retake will yeah, definitely come in beneath Benita has her ult on cat. Planted. Benita's gonna go late A main. Is she gonna she's she's gonna get caught. There is no way she's gonna be ready for Alexis in this position. Yeah, the lockdown is such a problem. Naomi's on that really big spawn flank. Alexis is just owning right now from that A main position. The run it back gets popped as well. Naomi finds that timing. That's a beautiful timing from Naomi. Claudia comes through with the Blade Storm looking to find the next target. Two players left here for Cloud9. There it is. Dash. Oh, oh it's just glorious. And she's changed up her position. They're not going to check for this. The bait setup is huge. Alexis has been set up to absolutely crush this. There's the first kill. The lockdown goes down. Alexis, can she keep it running? She does not. And the Hunter's Fury is popped to get rid of of that lockdown, the TP is found out by Jazzy, and now Claudia is just stuck in the ice, and now behind the wall. Oh, it's just so difficult. East on this. Ooh, yeah, this is looking very dangerous indeed. There you go, the double now. This one's that's doing so much damage here. Chobo trying to get out of there, and it's really hurt three players, but they do manage to get past it. Mel able to pick off Naomi. That's a nice kill to get. Mel is doing so much damage. Alexis comes through as well to assist, and suddenly every single COG player is dropping to the ground. They have to go back to recover. The spike is up to Chobo, who has the rest, but no time. It's over, thanks to Mel. Kind of rotate into her. <laughs> they just always somehow find Mel's setups. Yeah, right into this double molly setup again. 30 seconds left. And then they go. Mel's going to drop those nano swarms and oh, loses the first battle. And that was definitely going to be more difficult. So many players got past the nano swarms. And Annie, no ults. Katsumi, no ults. Very little util to work with. The recon is available though. But you definitely feel hard pressed to see a world where C9 make this retake a reality. Ooh, a nice. Someone finds nice one ping. in boat. That's a nice little ping right there. They should know that Naomi or someone has to be in B main. They're gonna walk down the stairs. Uh oh. Uh oh, they're going for it. They, they have to keep running though because of time. Chobo misses the first few bullets. The rap comes through. Naomi's not peeking to help protect. She's playing the time though. She's playing for it all. <gasps> oh my god. Is there time for this? I can't believe it. The 2v4 full retake comes through from C9. That's absolutely wild that they won that 2 on 4. They take their time. They walk down the stairs. They find the two frags. Unlucky for... Spike planted. This really is a tough situation. 
CLG red, down a player. There's that lockdown, Hunter's Fury should be on the way. Here comes the drop from Alexis, that's to run it back. Ryze are able to actually take that one out and still stay alive, and this doesn't wow. look too bad here now. There might be a chance that they can connect some shots here, but C9 are really storming this site effectively. It's just going to be two players left in a main coming through here for CLG. The wall goes up. That is so difficult. Limiting the angles. Nice shot from Benita. Oh. That's a quick double. And that's the defuse though coming through. Another frag from Benita. It is not enough. And there's our util coming in. Nice from Mel. The fadeaway with her classic. And the flank is coming through as well. Rise on this with that snake bite, trying to create some delay, spreading out the def defense as much as possible. That's big too. She spotted two people on the flank, and Claudia got a frag on the opposite side. So that means they're safe in this side for quite a while. Well, that wall will get knocked down. Claudia going for the jewels that does get some great damage. The trade comes through into the cloud burst. Chobo knows exactly what that cloud burst means. And CLG in a really great position, liking the move here from Trober, falling back to 410, able to play off of her teammates. There goes the wall. That's a lot of pressure, that's going to force Trober to make forward ground here, going towards backside. Has to win this fight against Mel. Big win. Also Rise winning the fight against Alexis, that will close it down. And CLG, they'll pick up the pike to do this. And, you know, we have spect a couple of Spectres out, the Bulldog. And we get the walk up tube actually. This was one of the things you were mentioning before that this was something that was somewhat of a susceptibility in C9's defense. Just to get pushed on through this spot, but Mel finds a great timing there. That's a three versus five for CLG now. Really tough. But on Icebox, you can find a lot of isolated battles. So a lot of the timing and Mel again. Really cognizant of the push. Alexis, we've seen her here before, and easy frag. Okay, if Naomi can get it one, one or two more kills, I think they'll be happy. Yeah, I agree. I think the round is all but doubling up on B long. Jazzy's pushing super aggressive. It's a good find by Jazzy, and oh gee, the drone is going to come through. They have to clear all these positions. Jazzy just lurking around. Oh, able to catch Jazzy. That's a big moment there for Benita. Able to Throughout this entire event, I've watched Benita play so aggressive in this exact position. I have a feeling she's going to take the fight to these site players. Well, she's going to have to at this point as well because they, they just lost another player. They don't really have the way to get the spike planted. The, every rotation's here, basically, and that means that they can't get a plant without getting the frags. And you can see that they understand this. They're falling back. There's just no way to get the spike down. Mel's waiting for this. She's going to get all that info. She's got a lockdown. So she could probably just prevent this round from being won just with a lockdown. Oh, no, Dan. You're, you're absolutely right. She could pop this lockdown and just end the round right now. She's going to try to save it. Ten seconds left. And, well, you can see it's a smart decision from Mel because able to get all the kills there. Rise in a very difficult position, and that's going to be it. Able to save the lockdown. Big play for us. Cloudburst instead. They're going to swing onto backside. Trade onto Annie Drow. Thanks to Claudia with that Sheriff. The Viper's pick comes through, and this might be that spot for the lockdown now. That might have to be the play to make this one look seem safe. The rest comes through Claudia with a forward kill onto Katsumi. Jazzy finds the elevation to take down Claudia in trade, but three versus three. And there it is. Defenders locked down. That forces out Naomi's Hunter's Fury. And Jazzy focuses on her now, but not for too much longer. CLG. Oh my goodness. Looking to convert a round that looked very desperate indeed. Alexis, I don't know what she can do here in this 1v3, creeping into the Viper's pit. There is no time for this at this point. She's got no HP. Oh. And that's a, that's a cheeky frag. <laughs> but still, she's going to die. And that's the thrifty for CLG. To Old Faithful with that then. And there's the, the punish on the drone. Oh, the bait. Is, is, that's awesome. If it's all about baiting the drone to get a peek for Jazzy to get the frag, that's just genius. But at the same time, Claudia will not be denied position. And that's that Jet Reina combo heading up that A site. And... and I mean, you can get these frags in mid, but look at the position they've lost. Oh, that's a huge defense taking down Claudia. Now Cloud9 are looking great. Jazzy's Nita. up. 
remains true. Oh my goodness, so much. She's found so much throughout the entire event in mid. Oh, <laughs> that was almost that was almost a lot of damage there by Benita. Really, so many different types of bait setups. Oh, Jazzy, so close on that one. The punish though from Chobo. That's a huge opening. They're gonna run it through off the back of that. Annie though, well, that long-range Hunter's Fury could cause problems, but does manage to be mostly evaded here by CLG. And Ooh. we got Claudia going deep with the blades, and she's going to find an easy freebie up on the wall. Alexis down on the ground as Claudia looks for the next victim. And the forward positioning here is really strong. Another one for Claudia before she finally goes down. It's a 2v4 retake. We've seen this before, though. But surely not, again. Surely not, Dan. Surely not. <laughs> I don't, I don't doubt it though. Watching the cloud. Oh, there's one. And he's trying to make it happen. The time is already a problem. We got that Viper post on util as well. Coming through. Oh no. It's, it looks like it might be happening here. Rice has to swing and the swing comes in and it didn't get to halfway in time. I don't think there's time for this. And he will be so very close, but just not close enough. CL now. Yeah, and just waiting has pulled two of those Cloud9 white players off of this A site. Annie Dro is now playing solo retake. Killjoy utility deactivated because of that opening pick onto Mel. This site's lost. The spike will definitely go down. Five on four. Spike planted. Yeah, that wall is really annoying too for the post plan. I'm really liking teams that are doing that. Oh my god, Jazzy! With those knives, she's doing so much damage right here. Alexis is able to punish off of the back of that. And suddenly, Annie Dro is unleashed from heaven. And it was looking so incredibly good here for CLG. But they are well and truly struggling at this point. Naomi has to find a timing. Looking to find it, but around 410, she's just not going to be able to get that frag that she's looking for. Jazzy from up top. And now there's Annie just wreaking havoc around 410 pressing onto the remainder of CLG and this is nothing that they can do now based off that last round of liking this under tube play now they have guns but Jazzy peels away one of the attackers that's a very important pick that's the Viper going and he finding value yet again from spawn now Katsumi is going to find the back of Benito who's looking to punish Annie and just none of these fights are working out Naomi is going to get killed as well Oh, that's just one of those horrible situations where, you know, you look for that, that one pick. Probably will try to move through the Viper's pit. Oh, Katsumi looking for the value. We'll get it. Benita, meanwhile, is going to push through to A. The trade comes through, and this play is basically everywhere at the moment. And the rotation is coming back, but Jazzy is in every best position you could want. Chobu has the res, Dan, but... You Dear God, Katsumi is right behind them. Oh, it's in the open ground. Jazzy fears no one. one nice run out, doesn't matter. Trade is through. 1v3 for Rise as Drone is about to get the tag. And there it is. And when that happens and you're in a clutch, throw on these pistols. Oh, this drone cannot see Benito or it's all over, Dan. And there it is, gets the tag in fact, Jazzy follows it up, there's a double from Jazzy, Chobo has to get in this with a double, can't quite find the second though, and that's going to leave it all up to Naomi and to Rise. Trying to make their way forwards into this retake, it's going to be very tough. Both have ghosts, so they're quick to the headshots, might be able to make some magic happen here. Naomi creeps above. That wall, you know what it means. That's one player spotted. You know the info's there. The setup, the crossfire with that wall as well. This is so brutal to deal with. Dash comes out. Rise even on control, but this fight is everything. And they've lost the B site now. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Yeah, that's a tough one. You couldn't even finish the sentence and it was it was over. C9 have the spike plant on B. They've got position for the post plant. They're looking pretty solid here. Annie with the drop onto Chobo. And uh, this this round is going really really well. It's they're gonna to delay things here, and CLG are so ready to defend this. 40 seconds for this spike to get planted, and it's looking very hard for C9 at this point. 
They decide to swing onto the position. They're just taking the raw gun battles, and it is yielding fights at the very least, but it's just Jazzy left. One versus three. Time is really against her, and a great finish. Oh, just missing it. She's got to be aware. They, no, oh no, that's so heartbreaking for Benita. That's a massive opening from Mel. 40 seconds, everybody's towards this A side. Rise now has oh. to come out huge, but they're all going above. They're going above. Oh, a sound cue from Jazzy, though. That might give the game away. Rise spots it. The bullets come through. Can't get the frag, though. It's Jazzy's. And now that's the wall. That's the, the Viper Pit coming through from C9 to play the post plant. That is such a difficult situation for CLG to be in now, especially with this. Look, there's enough already for them to deal with and you can't account for the lurk on top of all of that mel making matters worse here oh the viper's pit is going to go down onto that frag there's the very oh, no. ambitious res very ambitious <laughs> res <laughs> elg fighting for their life their tournament life here in the grand finals against c9 white who are looking to whitewash them actually with that 3-0 sweep, if COG aren't expert, it got the attacker, Killjoy ultimate, the lockdown from Mel. And there is the Hunter's Fury to break it. Getting the plant behind the wall though. Looking pretty safe right now, C9. Wall does get broken, but the spike has gone down. Just done his job. Jazzy in that four position. Oh, Turbo is going to be able to finish that one. Great finish with that Spectre. There's the dash. Claudia wants to get close with this charge. Is she able to get it happening? No, Katsumi denies. But Turbo is back in it again with the Spectre. Alexis is waiting, lying in wait. But Turbo able to get it.